Um, look. We need to be sensitive to the fact that there are a lot of folks out there who feel like they're getting a raw deal right now. They're not getting the credit they deserve that there's people basically moving into their prime positions and prime slots. And so they're, they're mad. And there's a certain amount of backlash and a USJWs out there going around saying it's time that we have more representation uh, in the power structure of different types of people. Well, uh, at least the youth are getting the message, right? Here's this kid from, oh, this disadvantaged kid from, uh, where was it? He's from uh, Columbia. Columbia, South Carolina. Oh. No, Columbia. this is Columbia University. Oh, oh, Columbia University. Oh, wait a second. I thought we were... Well, he's not from South America. He's um, one of these uh, one of these guys at Columbia University who is, um, you know, uh, he might also be taking classes at Prager University. Yes, exactly. Um, now, look, he's drunk and I don't want to pick on a drunk uh, college student who's 19 or 20 or whoever how old he is. Uh, but I'm going to. um just because he so perfectly captures the essence of everything he's absorbing from the Dave Rubens, the Jordan Petersons, Molyneux, Tucker Carlson, the Molyneux, the Tucker Carlson, maybe even the Sam Harris to a certain extent. I mean, you set up a, you know, maybe it's not so much white versus this, but it's certainly about the inherent problems with other cultures. Whenever he analyzes hate, it's like Punjabi hate. Right. And here is uh, this guy who's getting a dual degree from Columbia and Prager University, uh, drunk on the town, and here it is. We built the modern world. We built the modern world. Who? Europeans. Europeans. Built the modern world. We invented science and industry. Go off, sister. Go off. We invented science and industry, and you want to tell us to stop because oh my God, we're so bad. Where did we invented the modern world? I feel you. You're so dumb. We invented the modern world. You're fucking degenerate. We saved billions of people from starvation. Who? We built modern civilization. What? People are the best thing that ever happened to the world. We are so amazing. I love myself and I love white people. Say that one more time. Fuck yeah, white people. Fuck yeah, white men. We're white men. We did everything. Look, I don't hate other people. I just love my white men. I just love white men. Now look, he's drunk and he's sort of he's there's a little bit of performance here that I think he's trying to get a rise out of people and there's a little bit of provocateur. He's just having fun. Um and so and I don't know this guy and maybe he's not a bad guy. There's certainly far worse human beings out there that we talk about on a daily basis. Um uh, some uh, moments ago and moments from now. So I I I the the idea is less about uh people getting mad at this guy and more about understanding like where that script comes from and that there are a lot of people out there feeding this guy that script. And I think in that moment, my sense is he's just trying to get a rise out of um, some people. And, um, but he's like a big Nile Ferguson fan that just got a bit too intoxicated. Yeah. And, and, um, and I don't, you know, like I, I would encourage people not to take it out on him as much as taking it out on the sources of, of where his misinformation comes from. Because aside from the fact that he's American, not European, <laughs> and aside from the fact that uh, uh, many, many features of our modern life are a function of of non-Europeans from things like math <laughs> um, and all sorts of, of sciences and, and, and building technologies gun and, and, and gunpowder. Um, uh, aside from that, um, 
it's not like white people haven't had their opportunity to shine. You know what I mean? It's not like we, he's sitting there going, we, 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 when's our turn coming? Get those white guys, get them, get them, get them. <laughs> but that is the, uh, the message. That is the message of privilege losing their privilege and feeling like they're oppressed because of it. Yeah. I, I got to give a few uh, frowny points to Columbia's core curriculum and all this too. Uh, speaking as someone who went there, it's a bit Eurocentric, I must say. Well, there you go. Maybe they'll get a little less so now. Yeah, don't tell that guy. I'll flip out again. That's maybe what's going on. Who knows? Hopefully, maybe a, that maybe it's changing. Who knows? Maybe he can be an SJW in four years. <laughs>